the, the house, house spirit. This is a million percent true. It was a dark and stormy night. I was in my house all by myself, working on a gadget, which I never got to work right. But forget that. There I was, geniusing away. And then, then what? I took one bite and put the cake back. It was mad tasty, by the way. Right, but then when I looked, cake? Cake, where are you? Cake? It was gone? Completely gone, the whole piece. I'd only had Ooh. one bite. And then what? Well, that was how it started. Ever since, whenever I look the other way, blam, my food vanishes. This one time, I was uh, reading this really hard book for super smart bears, and can you believe it? Blam, completely empty. And it's happened other times, too. Huh? When I'm meditating, or working out, I mean, at its core, there's something really fishy going on. It started happening all the time. It's even sort of scary. If all my food just keeps disappearing, what am I supposed to do? Think maybe I could just stay with you until this problem stops? Listen, Bucky, we have this ancient legend up north where I come from. They say that in the den of every bear, there lives a house spirit. And if the bear does something to upset him, he will become angry. And then he'll start playing all sorts of mean, bad tricks. Just be quiet with your made-up ghost stories. Modern science guides this bear's life. Look, excuse me, I'm back. I'm talking formulas, theorems, and proofs. Elegant math equations. Backed up by advanced, complex, state-of-the-art lab experiments. <laughs> really science, -y science. Oh, oh, oh. Through which I've absolutely proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that dumb house spirits just do not exist. But your food keeps disappearing, doesn't it? <sighs> All right, fine. If I have a house spirit, why did he become a food thief? He never took anything before. I'm not sure. I guess that he's upset. Upset? At what? Just look at the sweet place he gets to call home. Spacious, warm, stylish, bright, brilliant feng shui. You know, Bucky, while it's true, you have a wonderfully nice place to live in here, but it's ah! a bit of a terrible mess. I'd be upset if I had to live here. If you had looked where you were stepping, you'd have no reason to be upset. And this is not just some ordinary mess. It's a creative genius mess. It's like the inside of my brain. Whoa! Ugh, my brain's a mess. Perhaps we should tidy up anyway. I can help, you know. Here we go. Careful, buddy. We're getting pretty good at this. <laughs> well, if it isn't Mr. Buttons. Whoa! I lost that, like four whole months ago. What is this thing? So, I thought I should be prepared in case aliens ever land here. Of course, I would need to document the moment. So I set up surveillance cameras all over the house. So, did the aliens ever actually come? Not yet. Could be they took a wrong turn. Alien GPS is buggy. Are the cameras still all recording stuff? Of course! Bjorn, you're a genius! Now, thanks to modern technology and my amazing brain's first-rate thinking, we've got footage of my house spirit. You can totally tell I'm geniusing up a storm there. <gasps> there! Chicky, that naughty pumpkin! But what's up? Where's the house spirit? Forward. Chicky again? Just wait until I get my hands on that little yellow yum burglar. That was my honey! Come on! Forward. Chicky again? Are you kidding me? That sneaky little beak face. Well, there. It was just Chicky the whole time. And you are talking about house spirits. But your house is a lot tidier and cleaner than it used to be, Bucky. If a house spirit was living here, he'd definitely be happier now. That's fine by me. I like it like this. There's room to skateboard inside. Ooh, I always hide a cookie in the couch. Where'd it go? It had cream in the middle. I need it. I really need it. Huh? Get me back my cookie. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Come back! <laughs> My, 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 I, 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 yeah, I baked the world's best ever pie! 
Two birds, that's double good luck. You ready for my super intense monster kick? Ah. Hey, that's enough noise from you. Monster kick! Look at it fly! It's going, it's going, it's... One strawberry for you. And one raspberry, too. Uh -huh. ah. It's gone! Hello? Did the sky fall? Uh, not the world's best ever pie! No, please! No! We've really done it this time. Why'd you have to do your stupid monster kick? Sorry, I'm just super strong. Oh, yeah, I'm super smart as well. It's genius time! <laughs> huh? You're welcome. It's a time machine. We can go back in time to five minutes ago and fix everything. How did you build that so fast? No time to explain it. Now, or should I say then? <laughs> Are we sure that it's really five minutes ago, Bucky? See? Two birds, double good luck! Like before! We just traveled backwards in time five minutes! Cool. Well, I guess, kick the ball. Just aim it there. It's going, it's going, it's... Gone! Yeah, we, we did, did it! it! Bjorn, I think I broke your house. Oh, Bjorn, look! Our ball! My little home! My lovely igloo is rubble! It's no problem at all! I can fix this right up! Right, five minutes ago, one more time. Now, er, then! <laughs> Bucky, what if we just didn't kick the ball at all this time around? Bjorni, what a brilliant idea! Let's just go fishing instead and forget about soccer! We should be time-traveling superheroes! Let's do that yesterday! Chicky, no! no! It's going! It's going! What, what on earth, earth have you done? done? Going, going, gone! My rocket flies just like a flash and hits a satellite which makes it smash into the saucer of a sloop named Gorpin Glash who spins like a top and does a crazy crash into a great big nasty asteroid which starts to sail across the void. Hey, do you think that people will be annoyed that a chicken picked a ball and got the world destroyed? Blame the void! Er, bird. Nice going, Chicky. You just caused the end of the world. Buggy, hurry and push the button. Uh, well, what are we thinking? You know what, Bjorn? Just one of Franny's pies isn't a terrible loss. I agree, my friend. Kick it! It's going, it's going! Bulls pie! Right, dude. I'll get my tools from home. You pick some real nice flowers. Then I'll meet you at Franny's place. The world's best ever pie. Talk to me, please, pie! <laughs> Gross! That's just awful. I must have mixed up the salt and the sugar again. Franny, it's all repaired, and it's better than it was before. Franny, we apologize. It was an accident. These flowers are for you. Thanks a lot. It turns out my pie was awful anyway. I'd love to be able to go back in time and fix my silly mistake. Don't do it, Chicky! Going gone! Ghost stories. In a dark, deep, deep, dark forest lived a, a zombie vampire werewolf bear. And he gobbled everybody up with his awful werewolf teeth. Uh, yeah. 
And they've not been heard from since. Who now? The vampire or the zombie or the mummy or the bear? Huh? What? No! Those are all just parts of the one bear! Come on! Ah, oh, forget it. It's Franny's turn next. Listen up. While I tell the tale of Gigantigruntus. Gigantigruntus is a monster that lives deep in the woods. It comes out at night to hunt. <gasps> it has three horns, four massively clawed paws, two slimy tails, 13 stomachs, and a long boogery trunk. It eats one thing only. All it eats is bears! <laughs> Giggity Gruntus, I'm not even that scared. Gosh, Franny, you're really good at telling ghost stories. <laughs> Gigantic Gruntus. Whoever said it was just a story? It's a million percent real. Yeah, right. I believe that, and I'm super scared. <laughs> Aren't you scared, Bjorn? Yeah. <laughs> I'm terrified of a silly kid story. Fine. Then I'll just be heading home. And I'm taking my flashlight, too. Franny, hey! I hope you don't get eaten by Lame Gruntus! <laughs> I called him Lame Gruntus, dude. <laughs> Guess it's time we went home. Let's take the tent down and deal with the fire. Boy, uh, it's a little dark. Yeah. Bucky? Bucky, are you really sure Gigantic Gruntus is only a silly kid story? Bjorn, I'm as sure as can be. Franny completely made him up. Well, here's where you go right and I go left. <laughs> Bucky, listen. Don't you think it's boring just walking by yourself? Would you walk with me until I'm home safe? Uh -huh. So, I guess I'm not in a big hurry. Walking down the perfectly safe path in the perfectly safe woods. Bucky, what if this gigantic Gruntus is real, just like Franny told us? Bjorn, enough! You've got to stop with the big, scary Gruntus and hurry up! Well, Bjorn, we made it. There's your house. Uh, well, good night then. Hope you get home safe. <sighs> Bjorn, wait up! It's just that, uh, I walked you here. It's only fair you walk with me. Uh, uh plus it's no fun walking uh, just by yourself. Bucky, after I walk you home, you are going to walk me back to my place again, right? It'd just be so boring walking home by myself. You don't need to worry about that. We'll come up with a schedule, all right? Walking down the perfectly safe path and the perfectly... What the... What's going on? Gigantic Gruntus! Gigantic Gruntus? But I just made that up, you silly boys! But we saw him! He was really there! There were three horns and really sharp claws, just the way you described him! Fine, then. Just come show me. We'll take you to him, but first I'll invent a Giggity Gruntus Whomping Club! Bucky, how can we be sure your gigantic Gruntus Womper will work right? Of course it'll work. I built it, didn't I? You hear that, Wumpy? Don't let me down. <gasps> gigantic Gruntus! Ah! Please don't eat me! Help! I taste I'm too furry to die! <laughs> Ow! Get off! Sorry. Let's take a look at your gigantic Gruntus. <laughs> An owl in a tree? You're the biggest scaredy bears ever! Scared? I never actually said I was scared. Pretending. Uh, so you would be scared. Uh-huh. Whoa, oh, gigantic Gruntus! He's Bucky, he's Yummy! I heard that. No, help, it's gigantic Chickas! <laughs> <laughs> no more scary stories for you boys. Just stories about bunnies and cupcakes and that. Pirate story! Lay in a course for home, roared the pirate captain, and a skull and crossbones flag rose atop the main mast. Mm. The end. Yeah! Wow, that 
so great. Oh, I want to be a pirate. Me too. I'll be the pirate captain, and you can be my crew. Why do you get to be captain? I would be a cool pirate captain. Ha! You, Bjorn, you're not cut out to be a pirate captain. I'd be an awesome captain. No, I'm the captain. No, I'm captain. You scurvy bear. Boys, boys. Come on, don't fight. Look, I baked a nice pie. Who wants some? Granny, can you not see we're in the middle of an important discussion? Look here, Bjorn, I'm the pirate captain, and that is final. All right, captain your ship. I'll just have a ship of my own. Boys. Chicky ahoy. Sweet! Awesome! Yeah, I am totally a pirate captain! The king of the seven seas! Who's there? Arr! Shiver me timbers! Raise the mizzen mast! Full speed ahead! Arr! Huh. Huh? Huh? What is this bottle doing here? Bottle eye? Where'd you come from? There's something inside! A treasure map! Blimey! A treasure map! Well, well blow, blow me down. down! A circle of grass! Yo-ho! A pine tree without branches! A rock! Yar! Aha! Huh. Huh. Mm. Bucky eye! That's Captain Buckbeard to you! Oh, is that so? Well, I'm Captain Longbjorn Silver! I have both a parrot and a treasure map to prove it! No, I'm the captain! My map is way better than that lame map! You have fake, Captain. Oh, we'll just see Arr. about that. I'll find my treasure before you find your dumb treasure. I know I'll find Arr. mine before you. Arr. There's no way he'll find the treasure first. Without my new treasure seatoscope, all right? Find some treasure. Ahoy, treasure. Yeah. Wait, what? Curses it be a rock. Ahoy. Nah, just an acorn. Booty ahoy! Ah, blast! It's only a mushroom. Well, Chicky, according to the treasure map, what we're trying to find should be nearby. Go look around. Find the treasure, Chicky! Find it! Have you got it? Did you find it? No, Chicky, that's a strawberry. Keep searching. Not quite. That's a raspberry. Try again, please. <laughs> Those are pine cones, Chicky! Mm. You are a treasure seekoscope, not a random wrong stuff seekoscope! Find treasure! You scallywag! <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean it! Well, did you have any luck? None, did you? No, sir. The problem is that this stupid map is useless. That's right. Yours and mine both are. I've searched near every tree and found nothing. Hey, wait a second. Take a look, Bjorn. Bucky, are these two halves of one bigger map? Huh. So we were looking near the wrong trees. That's why they call us pirates. <laughs> Good one, Buck. Hey, guys! <laughs> hey, what are you doing here, Franny? I Hang on. Just listen to this, Franny. We just found a genuine pirate treasure pie. I made that pie. I wanted to play pirates with you guys, but you were ignoring me. So I'm the one who drew the treasure map, just like I'm the one who baked the pie. Arr. That's awesome, Franny. This turned out to be the tastiest pirate story ever. Isn't that right, Longbjorn Silver? Yep, you're absolutely correct about that, my dear Captain Buckbeard. What ha! happened to our pie? Huh? 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 Bring that back, you rapscallion! <laughs> Bear Investigations. Investigations. It was a dark and stormy day. The poor, unsuspecting Umbrella had no idea what was about to happen. The game was afoot. What was 
that noise? Uh, I must be hearing things. Or was I? And the storm finally passed. But a storm of a different kind was brewing. Listen, Bjorn, did you borrow my umbrella by any chance? No, I didn't. Why would I? I have one. It's right there. Dun, dun, dun. It was just in this spot. It was right here. That's weird. It gets weirder. Bjorn, my umbrella disappeared as well. One moment it was there, and the next it was gone. That's incredible. Sounds like we have an umbrella snatcher on our hands. <gasps> Do you realize what this means? Well, no. I'll tell you what it means. Officer Bucky and Sherlock Bjorn are on the case. So our master detectives set out to crack the case of the century. Their first step, get a Groovatronic sleuth mobile. It's Detective Licious. With their eyes peeled as their tires squealed, our detectives got on their way to solve the crime and save the day. What's this? A witness? A suspect? Franny Fox, someone has been stealing umbrellas. Your umbrella hasn't gone missing, has it? No, mine's just fine. Don't play innocent with us. We know everything. You do? Awesome! Why is the sky blue and not pink? I'll ask the questions here. Exactly where were you all night long, Miss Fox? Home, in my bed. Ha! I knew it! Spill it! Where did you hide the umbrellas? Start talking! Bucky, I don't think you're detecting right. Why would Franny steal our umbrellas? We have to uncover the thief's tracks to find them. The tracks! Yes! Officer Bucky wouldn't relax until he found the culprit's tracks. The umbrella was right here. The thief just snatched it up and then ran off. Where are his footprints? Chicky, help us. Go, find the tracks. Chicky had quite a beak for crime. Got him? Good bird. Look, there were two thieves. The plot thickens. Wait, look, there were four of them. No, six. There's a whole gang of thieves. Um, Bucky, wait. And Bucky waited. We're following the footprints we're making. And just like that, their only lead vanished. Back to square one again. One, we know our umbrellas were stolen by a thief. What's more, the criminal left no tracks. Thinking, the thief used tunnels. <gasps> our umbrellas were stolen by moles, that's it! Well, I'll be. Moles, wow. So how will we ever get our umbrellas back from them? Elementary, my dear Bjorn. We build a mole trap and catch that umbrella snatching mole. We just need to find some bait. Find some bait? Mm-hmm. But we don't have any more umbrellas left. Moles took them. Well, I've still got one. <gasps> and so Officer Bucky, armed with nothing but a silly hunch and a gigantic IQ, set about creating a trap for the mysterious Umbrella Snatcher. Justice with a side of genius. Here goes. We're about to catch a thief. He'll be tunneling out of the ground any second now. Any second now. Any second now, trust me. Then, swooping down from the sky, a plot twist. Get it, Bucky. Trap it. Your trap thing totally didn't work. It's for moles. Last time I checked, moles don't fly. Come on, Buck. How can we catch it? Let's go. We need to follow it. Hurry. Time for a little hot pursuit. You're not getting away. It's flying towards the outer woods, where it's easy to hide. Bjorn, take the wheel. Why? I've got a plan. He bravely risked it all for the safety of umbrellas everywhere. Oh, yeah. Nice shot! Moles, huh? It was a reasonable theory, given the evidence. Oh, look at the cute baby birds! Sure, they're cute, but those umbrellas are ours. I don't mind. They're welcome to mine. They're welcome to my umbrella, too. Hmm. All right. Whatever. They clearly need it. They can have mine, too. This detective's going back to work. I'm still pretty certain that those moles are up to no good. A detective's work is never done. A tiny adventure. Just look at him go. I think he's going to make it. I think you're going to make it. Now you're just showing off. <sighs> 
Bjorn a hundred times. That's amazing! That's nothing. I got all the way up to a thousand one time. Shame nobody was there to see it. Can I try? I'll be good, I think. Here you are, Franny. Uh, one, two... Whoops. Nice try. I didn't mean to do that. I'll look hard and try to find your ball. It's fine. I carry an extra one. Great! Let me see that. What we need to do is throw the second ball and see where it ends up. The first ball should be in the same place. Find your brother ball. This is science at work. Feel free to take notes. Eyes on the ball and... Hello there. Just like I told you. Uh, you balls, come here. Uh, uh, there's no way I'm reaching that. Yeah, uh, no. We're not getting them like this. They're both too small and we're all just too big. We're too big, are we? I've got a super awesome idea. When these tools and my genius are combined, my friends, I think that you will find that size is just a state of mind that can be scientifically left behind. Done. I give you the unambigulating Dinkytron. It will shrink us down so we can get the balls back. There's one thing you absolutely must remember, though. No matter what, it's important one of us stays normal size and all three. Um, Bucky, what was that again? Your voice got really small. I need to understand that it's really important that you stay big, okay? It's all right. We just have to push this button up on top here. <gasps> you look like a little teddy bear. That felt weird. Hey, what were you telling us? I was saying it's mega important that one of us stays normal size the whole time. Ah, no big deal then. Franny's still normal size. Uh, uh, that has got to be the strangest thing I ever felt. Great, Franny. Now who's going to return us to normal size? That button might as well be on the moon. Got the balls. Well, what good will they be to us now? We're too small to play with them. I think I have a plan. Here's the unambiguating dinky tron. And here's the reambiguation lever. Now, there's a ball on the shelf above it. Also, gravity exists. So we just need to roll the ball off the shelf onto the lever to start the machine. Then we reambiguate. But how will we get up to the shelf, though? We'll send Franny up. She doesn't weigh very much. Just a little bit further. Come on, go! Well, I made it to the shelf. If we had a rubber band, I could bungee jump down to the lever. Dude, Chicky's huge. It's us, Chicky. Look down. He's like a dinosaur. Chickysaurus Rex. No, wait. Big Ceratops, guys. I don't think he recognizes us, Bjorn. Why are you scared? Hey, it's just Chicky. No way he'd hurt us. He only eats worms and bugs. He just eats tiny little things. Feels like we are right now. Uh, Chicky, it's us. You're Funny, Bucky. 
Our ball ended up in the stinging nettles. Ha! And you're scared of a few nettles? I got this. Around here. Could you lend us a hand? Yes, I can. I'll be right back. You're going down, nettles. Oops, a little carried away. Hey, our ball. Thanks very much, Bucky. Yeah, you're like a one bear rescue service or something. If you need something, let me know. Bucky, lend me a hand? Something's up with my TV. For some reason, it isn't working. Right. <laughs> Time to be super awesome! <laughs> you call that an antenna? I'll put up a pro antenna array. You'll be able to pick up TV shows for Mars. No, wait, Jupiter! Bucky's here to lend a hand. Just wait till you see what he's planned. He's the helpingest bear in the whole darn land, and his services are in high demand. Oops, a little carried away with the size. But bigger is better, right? And I used a lot of tape so it shouldn't fall. Looks like my TV's working super. And I've got some really awesome new channels. <laughs> Razor Vision, you're welcome. Incredible, Bucky, thanks. Not a problem. Maybe you could put a positive review up on my webpage. That'd be great. Hey there, handsome. Bucky, I need a hand. My whole poor garden is in the shade. Don't panic. <laughs> I'll get it sorted, friend. Yep. It's from Franny's antenna. No worries, Bjorn. I'll just set up another light for you. It'll be way better than the sun. All right, then. I just need to design something that will ultra mega shine. Yeah, the sun is fine, but it doesn't shine like mine. Oops, carried away with the shine. Now everything's growing too fast. You'll be all right. You can just eat faster. Sure, okay. Thanks a lot, Bucky. Don't mention it. Help is my middle name. Huh? Oh. Chicky, what? Do you need a hand with something? See, the thing is, we're actually closed for business today. But since it's you, I suppose I could make an exception. All right. Lead the way. Bucky, hurry! Put everything back like it was! Whoa! I'll sort it all out as soon as we get away from Dragonflyzilla! <laughs> Bjorni, let's hide in the forest! <laughs> uh, there isn't too much forest left to hide in! Is just too strong. Um, is that a giant dragonfly? Why wasn't this on the news on my iron? Well, Franny, I think your extra strong antenna won't be a problem for much longer. Ah! Buck, care to lend a hand? Oops, I got kind of carried away, but I learned a thing or two today. Bucky's helping hand is here to stay, but I'll try to tone things down, okay? Bucky, what are you doing? I'm just replacing the nettles I cut down. I'm gonna say that's taking it too far, buddy. Oops, got a little carried away. The Porcupotamus. <laughs> now it's done, except for his carrot nose. I'll just go and get one. There's
there's nothing special about his snowman, but mine will be awesome and huge. I just need to roll up a monster big head. I got this. It's just so heavy. Hey, come back, head. Oh, oopsie. Bjorn is going to be furious. Look at the awesome nose-like carrot that I just found. Bucky, what happened? Uh, my beautiful snowman. Um, it, um, well, a porcupotamus trampled it. That's it. It was gigantic and scary. There I was, hard at work on my own snowman. And he charged out of the woods. Stomp, stamp, crush, crash. Right over your gorgeous snowman. Then he just thwunked off across the snow. Porcupotamus? That's very weird. Where could a wild animal that big even come from? I just told you. He came from the woods over there. Hi there, Bucky. Hi there, Bjorny. You guys want to come help me decorate my tree? Doing stuff and other stuff when there's sunny weather. La, 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 la. If there's rain, they do other stuff. I have the perfect spot for you. Look, here's a spot for you that looks good. It still seems like something's missing. The star at the top, that's what's missing. Granny, is this it? Yeah, but how will we get it up to the top of the tree? We'll just use a ladder, right? Of course, I've got one in my place. Bjorn, will you come with me and help me carry it, please? We don't really need a ladder. I'll just climb to the top myself. I am a bear, you know. Ladder, give me a break. I don't need some dumb... Whoa! Oh, Bucky! Oh. Our beautiful tree! What happened to it? Uh, well, the truth is, Franny, I was standing here just doing good things when he appeared. I was just standing around being a positive role model, and the porcupotamus charged out of nowhere! Stomp, stamp, crush, crash! Straight up your wonderful tree! I tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen to me! Just look at what he did! And off he thwomped. Bucky, so just what exactly is a porcupotamus? Goodness me, I didn't know it had gotten so late. I have to do something really important, bye. So this porcupotamus has made a lot of messes in a very short time. Yet, he doesn't seem to leave any tracks in the snow, which is pretty strange. The only footprints are Bucky's. Bjorn, huh. I'm beginning to suspect that Bucky might be the porcupotamus. Yeah, Franny, I think so too. You know, maybe that storyteller should meet a real porcupotamus. <laughs> Fighting giant robot worms when there's sunny weather. If there's rain, they're hunting gold or raiding tombs together. <laughs> I can't believe they bought that stuff about the porcupotamus. I've been looking for you, Bucky Bear. <laughs> Franny, you have to stop laughing. I'm sorry, but your porcupotamus voice is just so funny, Bjorn. You've been blaming me for your mistakes. Ah! Porcupotamus, help! They're really real. Ah! Ah! Franny, you have to keep up or else we'll totally fall apart. I'll try, but I can't see where I'm running. Somebody help! Ah! Oh. You cannot escape. Go <laughs> and true stories of anger the porcupotamus. I'll never do it again, I promise, I'm sorry. Sorry is not enough. You must fix what you have broken. I will, I promise I'll fix it. Good as new, or even better. Well, guys, we're here. Now you can open your eyes. Wowee! It's really beautiful! Bucky, you did all of this yourself? Yeah! All this is for my awesome best friends. It was me that wrecked Bjorn's snow dude and Franny's tree. Bucky, we knew it was you all along. Yeah, we both knew there's no such thing as a porcupotamus. Yeah, I thought that too. But they're really real. Strong and blue and huge. And they know my name. <laughs> there goes Bucky telling stories again. But, oh, never mind. Now museum, now you don't. Bucky, if you're sleeping, then stop it. Bucky, Bucky, look at this. 
I found some buried treasure. Come with me, Bucky. I'll show you where I found it. Right here. Holy moly! We should go in and find some more. Come on in. The dirt's fine. Oh! I found another vase! No, no, no. A shovel just ain't gonna cut it for a job this size. Brilliant time. We need a treasure digger, Tron. When you think there's treasure in the ground, sitting there, just waiting to be found. Just scrounge and screw and weld and pound. Then you'll be a first-rate treasure hound. Hey, Bjorn, I'm very proud to present to you my new Digomatic Tronotron. We'll get everything out of this hole in no time. <laughs> put all this stuff. There's enough here to fill a museum. What a brilliant idea. Let's build a museum. Build a place that's big enough for all our awesome arty stuff. Yeah, my polar bear best pal and me built a gallery. Hey, Buck, what would you say this bucket doohickey was? It's, a. Uh... This is clearly a knight helmet from medieval times. I'm not sure. Looks kind of like a bucket. But of course, a really ancient one. That is not a bucket. Look at this. It's a genuine, real live, bona fide brave knight's helmet. Wait, you know what? It might be a bucket after all. A really ancient one. All right, what's this, Mr. Smart Bear? I think that it's either a shovel or a harpoon. An ancient shovel or harpoon. Yeah, very ancient. We'll put it here, like so. Franny and Chicky have just got to come to our museum. I do have a mild culture allergy. Achoo! So here is our new museum of really ancient stuff. I'm so thrilled to show you a really ancient tea set, once used by real cavemen to prepare real cave tea. How historical! Hey! Chicky, come on! Don't touch the really old stuff. This is a bucket from the golden age of janitor dinosaurs. It was made from the helmet of a chivalrous knight who lost it battling an emu. So exciting! And this, my dear visitors, is a real caveman show. Awesome! It looks just like a modern one. Hey, Franny, hey! What's wrong with you? Never touch the stuff at a museum. Ancient stuff turns to dust if you touch it wrong. Boys, what's up with that? Uh, why does that guy get to put his paws all over the ancient stuff? That's not fair. Huh? Okay, what on earth was that? I have no idea. <gasps> What if it was like the ghost of an ancient cave knight or something? Bjorni, ah! huh? the ghost is oh, back. It's definitely an ancient knight spirit. Sir, grabs a lot. You're really not supposed to touch the stuff at a museum. It's really old and it's flimsy. Hey, Franny. Mm -hmm. Shh. <gasps> huh. Who's there? It's just us. Oh, um, hello. Uh, welcome to my humble home. Um, your, your home? home? This really is your home? Uh, yeah. My home, or hole. My name's Val. Franny, hi! It looks like my friends Bjorn and Bucky made a museum in your house. We thought your stuff was all from ancient times, from the Jurassic Middle Ages. Oh, genius time! Why not just pretend you're living in a museum for really awesome Middle Ages stuff, huh? I do kind of like it a lot. <laughs> My house did used to be quite a mess. And now there's a nice place for everything. Like there's my trusty shovel right there. Chicky, no touching! <laughs> I Get will have here. to charge admission, though. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm funny. Circus trainer! That's right, Leo. Keep it up. Uh, all right, up. Do it. Come on, just jump. 
You can do it, Leo! Hey, Bucky. What's going on? Uh, Bjorni, hi there. Um, I'm just training Leo. That sounds awesome. Uh, I think. What's a Leo? Not what, who? Leo is my tiger. He's the star attraction of my new circus. I'm starting a circus, by the way, because I rock. Guys, hi, good morning. Um, so what's all this then? Well, see, Bucky is trying to train Leo here. Fantastic. What's a Leo? Use your eyes. He's clearly a tiger, come on. You gotta work with me a little bit here. Circus, tiger, failure. I was up all night tigerizing my remind o -matic. Bucky, it's kind of silly to dress that bot thing up like a tiger. Yeah, you should be training real live animals. Dangerous ones, like Chicky. I actually have a book about animal training. Yeah? That looks pretty cool. Can I borrow it? By this time tomorrow, I'll be the greatest animal trainer oh. in the history of forever! <laughs> All right, how to train. Warning, dangerous animals can be dangerous. That's boring. Now then, one, getting started. Show the animal who's in charge. Hopefully that's you, the trainer. One way to do this is to scare them. Aha! Excuse me for a second. <laughs> ah, Chicky, stop it! It's just Bucky! You're pecking my brain, stop! Get off of my head! Why don't we just skip a step about showing you I'm in charge? So what's the next step? Act out for the dangerous beast the tricks you want it to perform and reinforce correct actions by giving the beast yummy, tasty treats. All right. Chicky, here, Chicky, Chicky, Chicky. Yummy, 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 yummy. Add it, Chicky, come on. Circus Chicky, training time. He's gonna learn to bounce and climb and tightrope walk and pantomime. I'm a circus trainer in my prime. He'll learn to jump and learn to swing. He'll learn to do most anything because it's circus training, I'm that king. Think of all the awesome we're gonna bring to the center ring. Chicky, you are great. Perfect moves. You can have a cookie now. Mammals of all ages. Welcome to the very first ever performance of the circus trainer, Bucky, featuring the one-of-a-kind phenomenon, Tiger Chicky. Chicky? Um, Tiger Chicky? Come on, up. Chicky, you don't want to embarrass me, do you? Uh, we practiced all night. Do something. You'll get a cookie. Huh? Chicky, what's wrong? Not even one little trick? Then fine. That was really wonderful. Bravo! Looks like you're an acrobat more than a trainer. Well, since I train myself, I'm both, which is pretty epic. Let's just agree I'm a phenomenal circus king. Ugh, but I never want to see another one of these cookies in my life. 